progress report. Big Quill checking in, Lil Quill, Don Quilly, um, whatever you want to call me. Checking in with my motherfucking family right here on La La Land. It's up with us. Y'all stay tuned. Interview on the way. Album on the way. Everything on the way. What's up, Kangly? All right, what's going on? This is your girl, Lila Shepard. Um, this is a new episode of Lila Land, season two. I got my man Lil Quill here, a.k.a. Big Quill, a.k.a. Don Quillian, Quill, you know, whatever you want to call him. But, you know, me and Quill got an a awesome relationship. Um, every time I see you, I tell you I'm proud of you. Um, you've been progressing, been going up, and I don't know, like I met you a minute ago. Of course, you know, me, you, and Mal did an interview a minute ago. And um, it's just dope. Like every time, you know, you about to release something or we got something going on, we got to get up. So that's what this is. And yeah, also, too, we time. just go get to know you on a more intimate level. So how you doing? I'm doing all right, really. Just, you know, grind mode once again. Yeah. Because a new project is about to release. And by the time this pro or by the time this interview is out, the project will have been out. Yeah, it'll be out. Yeah, definitely be out. That's Down what's up. Down part two. Yeah. I don't know fucking where it's up with us. You know what I mean? Definitely. I remember um, you teased the cover and you was just saying that it was coming soon. So when, when do you be knowing that it's time to drop? Like, when, is, when does it feel about right? I wanted to drop on June 15th mm -hmm. on some um, Zone 6 slash 1-5. Mm -hmm. But um, one of my, my brother, he told me not to drop now. So, you know... All my peers, they always talking about how I don't listen to him and all mm -hmm. that, so I, I listen to him. He told me to drop on the 4th of July, so mm -hmm. it's for him, you know what I mean? True. Respect. Nice Respect. How do you feel? Do you feel like you a, a better listener now, or do you... I'm just trying to work on everything that I lack in, you know what I mean? Nah, definitely. Nah, I feel what you're saying, um, just in terms of growth and all that good stuff. Um, I feel like, you know, when it comes to something that you're passionate about and when you're being creative, it is hard sometimes to... You know, just take opinions when you already feel some type of way about it. Like, how do you deal with that when it comes to, or who do you listen to when it comes to, um, you know, taking advice and critique about your music and your creative process? Really, um, just really all my fellow companions just around me, you know what I mean? I try to make sure they feel like, you know what I mean? I ain't just in it for myself and I'm just hard headed and arrogant, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to work on listening to the bros, you know what I mean? Respect. Mainly, little bros and all, you know what I mean? Absolutely. So they can, you know what I mean, know that their opinion actually matters, you know what I mean? Rather than me just feeling like I got everything mm. in order and, you know what I mean? So just trying to like actually take the heat of everybody's side and just, you know, you know what I mean? Just really, I'm just trying to be a team player at this point, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Hell yeah, and you know, team is everything, you know what I mean? You definitely can't do everything on your own, and you do gotta let, you know, your people around you know, like, all right, like, this is why you're here, you know what I mean? This is what's going on, like, and I respect your opinion. Um, so, you know, talk about realizing that you did have a team of people to actually help you, and like, how does that help with your load of things that you got going on? Really just mainly as far as like, just, just to help, Honestly, you know what I mean? Like, cause I'll be feeling like I can, I can do everything myself. And like you said, you know, ain't nothing bigger than a team, you know what I mean? So I can't really do everything by myself, but I just be so much in that drive, just trying to like, you know what I mean? Get to where I want to go and not like so impatient, mm. trying to just go, 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 you know what I mean? Instead of just actually slowing down and mm. trying to figure every step, figure every step out thoroughly, you know what I mean? Instead of just, you know, just moving without a purpose, you know? I feel you. So really just trying to be more motivated, you know what I mean? More of a listener. Respect. Um, so are you signed right now, or what's your situation? It's complicated. Okay. <laughs> got you. So got you, got you, got you. So when it comes to that type of thing, though, just in terms of, like, getting ready to release the project, putting stuff out, like, how do you do that? Like, how do you, what's the process? Oh, I'm doing like? all that personally, like, through okay. myself, through my lawyer. Okay. You know what I mean? My lawyer really, you know what I mean? Got you. So... You know what I mean? Um, I just, when I feel like it's time to drop, I ain't waiting on nobody. Mm. It's time to work, I ain't waiting on nobody. But like I said, I'm trying to get out that stage, try to start doing stuff differently. But hey, you know, sometimes, you know what I mean? I can't let the fans down, so I got to just get to them. You know what I mean? True, true. And y'all fans love y'all, like, hella, hella dedicated. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Talk about your fan base and 
and just, you know what I mean, what's some stuff that they had DM you, like, whatever One it is. One thing about them fans, boy, they get aggressive, boy. They might get yeah. cuss me out, all type of shit. Like, bitch, I had nigga drop the album. <laughs> bitch, I had nigga drop the video. Yeah. And I used to get mad at them. I used to try to, but when I think about it, I'm like, they just, you know what I mean? Yeah, they frustrated. They, just, they want yeah, that they, music. They, they just hungry for it, you know what I mean? Sometimes I just I be just trying not to spoil them so much on it so they can actually appreciate it when it mm. do come around. True. You know what I mean? Like last year I dropped like th- three projects. Yeah. Or album or EP and a mixtape. Mm-hmm. And then like a hand probably like a handful of singles. This year I'm trying to just take it slow and actually like let them you know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? Like just really appreciate it more, you know what I mean? I feel you. And do it the right way as far as promotion and trying to market it. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah, now definitely some stuff that that's been real consistent thus far definitely has been you just saying just trying to pretty much live in the moment, you know what I mean, and um, just you know appreciating everything as it comes and and just celebrating that, and I think that's so important. Um, so just what's some what's some things that you notice just between from from now from when you first got into the music um, about yourself and just about the the business itself? What's some stuff that you observed and noticed about it? Um, really, it's that one word, the business side, because I was really just looking at it on just making music and just mm. dropping music, but now I'm getting to the point where I'm learning the business and, you know what I mean, learning how to drop music, when to drop music, mm-hmm. trying to strategize every move, you know what I mean, like trying to be, you know what I mean, just actually trying to process things now, opposed to when I first started and just was just doing stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. So really, like, you know what I mean, just growing and the growth just period, you know what I mean, from the family, actually paying bills and stuff and taking mm. care of people. So it just made me feel like I got more of a purpose now than me just actually feeling like, oh, I got clout while I'm on now, you know what I mean? It's a job now, so. Mm. Just actually, yeah, just taking it serious now, you know what I mean? So true, so true. And that's what I'm saying. Like, our last solo interview, when you cut your hair, I'm like, bro, like, I see the growth, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, just, you know, reflecting back on our past interviews before we couldn't hear Quill as much or whatever, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But just, just seeing you, you know, step out into that spotlight has de- definitely been dope. Um, and even me and uh, Ma did a La La Land episode a couple of weeks ago. I seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, one thing that he said that stuck with me, he was just like, you know, Quill been having grown man issues, grown man problems. That's for sure. <laughs> so um, let's tap into some of those things. Like, what's what's been some grown man issues and stuff? In you middle? know, as far as, like, getting in the game and actually being, the, like, like being a bread when they're 18, you know what I mean? It's like it get confusing, you know what I mean? Like, because mm. we ain't come we ain't come from no silver spoons or nothing, you know what I mean? Mm. Came from sleeping in hotels and floor to floor and couch to couch. So it's like, now it's like, you know what I mean? I got so much grown man problems. I mean, not problems, but like, you know what I mean? Obstacles that I got to right. go through. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's life, so I don't look at it as problems. You know, everybody go through shit. True. Where it's like, it just hit me so quick, you know what I mean? I ain't really had time to grow into it. And as far as like, Get into it with the law, mm. you know what I mean. Situation with labels and stuff, you know what I mean, and just just a whole lot used to just hit me at one time. I get out of some, be right back in some, but you know, mm. you know, right now, like I'm on like a clean stroke, you know what I mean, sober for like t- two years. Yes, man. Yeah, you know what I mean. So just really, just okay. you know what I mean. I ain't gonna lie, I cheat every now and then. I but got they you. Just, I got you. You know what I mean. But not nothing, nothing serious. I ain't really. I'm. I'm not pressed on it. You know, I used to be a, a real, a, a real addict on that on the weed too. Mm. But like now, like I don't even want to smoke no weed. I don't want to do wow. nothing. Like if I'm, if you catch me doing something, I'm probably having a good day or just, hmm. just doing it just because. But that's actually seldom. Like it's very that's rare. Hard. You ain't gonna see me. You know what I mean. So yeah, definitely just. You know what I mean. Just really just growing up trying to mold into all the problems and just learn to learn how to come with it just like like learn to understand what come with being grown so you know what i mean when you're young and having all this shit going on it's hard for you to just like it's hard for you to process it because you ain't never mm. been through it especially so especially if you ain't never been through it especially where i'm coming from so yeah Damn, yeah, man, and that's that's dope. I was definitely going to ask you, as I, I remember you saying that before, just about, you know, not smoking. So just with mindset, how do, how do you feel, and just in terms of just everything, like just being, you know, 
sober as an adult and everything that you got going on how does that feel i ain't gonna lie it like give me more of a sense of like stability you know what i mean make me just feel like i'm more conscious on shit. you mm-hmm. know what i mean like i ain't really like when i used to be on that weed i just like you know some real young nigga shit, you know what i mean so now like i got off that i'm able to like process shit for a thing like and actually like do shit, like you know what i mean right. it took me a while to actually like it took me you have to keep following and getting back up for me to understand like man this ain't this shit ain't you know what i mean you gotta get your shit together or yeah. you're gonna be goddamn back where you started mm. and i can't go back there you That's know what i mean I ain't, that ain't even an option mm. you know what i mean so just really just had to stop something that wasn't really helping me or i felt like it was blocking me from my greatness and that was one of them you know what i mean so just being sober is like uh uh, advance, you know what I mean? So it's, I just feel like I'm more ahead of the game than I used to be. Nah, and yeah, a lot yeah. of people probably not taking heed to that, but I'm gonna show them, you know what I mean? Like, hey, this ain't 2017, 2018, mm. 2019 look queer. Like, yeah. it's a new and improved. You know Damn I mean? right. Damn right. When the last thing that you did something, you know, nice for yourself? Crazy thing about it is, I was just thinking about that today, like, I don't really do a lot for myself. I'd be so caught up in the moment trying to make sure, please everybody and stuff. Mm. I actually never take the time. I just say, hey, as far as clothing now, I'm always going to, you, <laughs> you know have I mean? that shit on. Yeah, I'm going to put that shit on. Yeah. So, by me, like, lately I've been getting back into the fashion tip. At first I had dozed off on it. Like, when I first came in the game, I was on it, the design of fashion. But then mm-hmm. I was, like, start, like, looking towards, like, all the black entrepreneurs and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I, lately I really been, like, I done molded back into that because only because I feel like that's what the fans be really want to see. You know what I mean? They oh, just yeah, want to see. Yeah, they want to see your sauce. Yeah, they. You know what I mean? They just yeah. want to see a nigga popping and shit. So like, yeah. I, as, if anything, I'm doing it for them. You for know sure. what I mean? Just honestly, just for a look. But as far as doing anything for myself, I really be so st- stuck up and just making sure everybody around she me is straight. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to make sure everything at home is great. You know what I mean? But I feel you. I'm finna, I'm, finna, I'm, finna go, I'm finna go do something for myself. <laughs> nah, I think, I think that's important. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm like you, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. like, I think if everything around me good, then I'm good. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but, sure. like, people around me that I, like, you know, my friends are just people that I really respect. They always tell me about their friends and making sure I'm doing stuff for myself, too. So, definitely encourage you to do that. You know what I mean? Um, also, too, man, I noticed these billboards around the city. Like, I mean, you know what I mean? That's fire. I'm sure that's a, I don't know if that's just you doing that or if it's a joint situation with a label or whatever, but that's fire, though. Nah, I've been doing that shit myself. Nice. So that's something right there. Yeah, I got like four billboards. You got to catch yeah. them when you catch them. Like, they, they come in and go. They come and go. They, but they, they come with the digital shit. Like, yeah, that's the business. I ain't got no, like, the um the one that just it by itself uh, I'm 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 looking into that but mm-hmm. I had to get some up there and let them know like hey like I'm up here now like yeah. y'all y'all put some respect on my name like big respect hell yeah that's dope like what's your people saying like you know what I mean your they mom, actually proud of me cause yeah today I I've been mellow you know what I mean but yeah. like and I just said really what made me just really like get on that bullshit because like. Ma just got another billboard on, on Keller. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, and I was going to wait to announce that I had bought four billboards yeah. until my album dropped for promotion. So I, And I seen somebody coming some little, I, I was in a conversation today, unfortunately. So my shit, like, man, I got four of them all. Like, yeah. only, like, you know what I mean? But it, it wasn't on no compare and contrasting type of shit. Of course not. It was just on some shit, like, don't don't sleep on me and don't play with me like you know respect. what i mean like respect you know what i mean so it's just you know what i mean four of them bitches by the way if i ain't if i ain't met you <laughs> period big four <laughs> facts i mean so when when like going to the comments and stuff you know it's like you already know if you're looking at the comments it might be some bullshit it might bullshit. be some good shit like why look at the comments is this something that you like to do like you know what i mean nah, I, not necessarily okay. sometimes i might be just scrolling looking through the notification it might be yeah. They might have just said something and I might just catch my eye. True. And I might be like, let me see what they got to say. You know what I mean? <laughs> Word up. And then I might just, you know, get out of care for 30 little seconds. It'd be like Either that. reply to them that. or make a subliminal post. But nothing ever direct. I never want to get nobody the time of day to feel like they're that special. But Respect. I see everything, though. You know what I mean? You might not acknowledge it, but yeah. Yeah. 
definitely lurking in them comments sometimes. I hear you. It be <laughs> like that. I've definitely be having my days. I feel you. Um, so, you know, with this upcoming project, and like I said, by the time this drop, the project is going to be out. Um, what's one song? I know you're going to say listen to the whole project. Mm -hmm. But what's that one song where if, if a person never heard you before, where you like, all right, put this on? Mm. I actually just dropped the video today. Yeah, you did. Big Quill Flow. I would encourage you to listen to that. But I'm going to refer to two other more songs. Okay. Um, I got Dress It Up featuring my little brother. Not my blood little brother, but, you know, my mm -hmm. um, stepbrother. Got you. And I got Burgundy Van. That's actually one of my favorites because mm. it's a song that I didn't really try to make. It was just one of the songs, like, you know, going to the studio, you know, you're just trying to make sure you knock out more than just one song or more than the song that you felt like, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's just one of them songs that I just put together and I end up actually liking the flow and the beat to it, you know what I mean? But it's a couple of them on that. I actually I actually like this project, like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, I can say that about a lot of different projects. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's just because it's now opposed to then because could, I could have had the same feeling, but mm -hmm. I always loved the Don Quillions. Serious. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I always, like, those are always something special to me. Got you. Like, you know what I mean? But as far as, like, right now, Big Quill, a burgundy van if you want to get a whiff of me you know what i mean respect respect see you got uh model on there and some other artists mm -hmm. that i don't think i'm hip to just yet yeah i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put you down on them too okay um i got mom gotta have mom on everything got to, i do got to. you know what i mean my brother yeah um i got a little loaded i got oh yeah okay okay i got um auto star splash and i got real taker you, you know what I mean? Just, just everybody around my circle. You know what I mean? No, no, no real big names right now. Despite you know, man, besides Ma. Yeah. But you know what I mean? I just really just like I said, just trying to actually get all the brothers in tune and just trying to Absolutely. let them know, like you know what I mean, that they matter and you know, I'm with them. You know what I mean? I don't want nobody just. No, I respect you that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't yeah. want them seem selfish with it. I respect that, Quill. And like I said, man, I'm, you know, always going to tell you, I'm definitely just proud of you, like, from afar. And I think it's, you know, important to say that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really, really proud of you. You know what I mean? I so keep it, going man. up. Like, keep bossing up. Keep doing your thing. It's always going to be, you know, hurdles here and there. But, you know, I'm definitely seeing you, and I'm super, super proud of you. Um, so what's what's one thing that you're working on to become a better you? Um... I'm really trying to work on actually getting into different sources of income. You know nice. what I mean? Okay. Because the music, the music always going to do good. Yeah. But, Say you that. know, you know what I mean? And I'm going to stand on that. It's always going to do good. I ain't Period. even going to manifest nothing other than that. But I want to get into something to where the point where I can actually chill. That passive too. income. You know what I mean? I can yeah. actually chill too. I don't want to put too much on myself. No, like as far as. Cause the music shit come with so much. You have yeah. to keep up with the image. Yeah. You have to make sure you in a face and mm -hmm. all that. Not saying I want to die down with that, cause that'll be a uh, something else that'll hold me back too. But I just always want to have something other than, you know what I mean? Yeah, just royalties absolutely. and features and Passive show money. Income, you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, something other like some regular people shit. I want to get some regular money too. You I know? love that. That's dope. Mm -hmm. That's hard, man. Just, oh, I got a clothing yeah. line actually for now. Okay. Come out called HTC. XTC. Okay. What, what does that stand letters. for? I don't know what it stands for. I just like gotcha. how it sounds. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't want to get too, you know what I mean? Like, but I think That's probably because I was on XTC that day too, though. But, <laughs> but I think I, I just like how it look and like how it sound. But, you know, nowadays they into like all type of weird shit. Well, whatever's weirdo, they with it. So I'm just, you know what I mean? But it's actually hard designs. I'm clicked up with, um, um, some some designers, some underground designers, and I'm just trying to, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to get nice. on some other shit, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. I'm going to drop that after, like, I'll probably start dropping that in, like, August or September. I, I, I want to do it before then, but I got to focus on, I got to focus on this project. That's why I say I want to do different stuff because Absolutely. I know right now I got to put my all into that, you know what I mean, to the point where I have enough time available to be able to promote clothing or exactly. or if I want to do video machines and stocks and real estate whatever I want to do you know what I mean but yep. I'm trying to get into whatever you know what I mean I love it keep that mentality up man Thank keep you. going up um, like I said the project 
at this point, we're going to say it's out now because, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, by the time we drop this, it's going to be out. But hell yeah, keep going up. Um, until the next time, we are out.